everyone. Welcome back to Walkscapes. It's been a little over three weeks now since I quit my job to focus on training for my walk across America. I still haven't set a go date yet, but I'm definitely within the 90 day window of go time. I've shifted my focus on training to strength and flexibility and stability. Let me put my gym routine up on the screen. Before we go any further, I'm going to read this disclaimer to you. Everyone's body is different. My routine is my routine. It was inspired by a training book I read, developed by a personal trainer I hired, and approved by my primary care physician. Anyone attempting a fitness program of any kind should seek medical advice, not my advice. I share this routine for informational purposes only. Nothing in this video is intended to diagnose or treat any condition. I am not your doctor, nor would I ever presume to tell you how to train your body for any kind of physical activity. Okay, that being said, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays, I do a set of 14 exercises that you can read there for yourself. On my off days, I do yoga every day, and then I will also either bike, jog, or walk um, daily basis, that's seven days a week, I will walk at least one to two miles barefoot. I will do a set of uh, dynamic and static stretches, and I will practice the full squat until I can do it for 15 minutes straight. Thankfully, I'm not permitted to videotape myself while I'm in the gym. Not that I feel very dignified exercising on camera anyway. I don't even really enjoy uh, talking and walking on camera, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm still getting used to that. In the meantime, I think we'll just stick with the outdoor shots of my walk. How's that sound? Uh, anyway, so for the last couple of weeks, I've been hitting the road most every day, uh, varying my routes to keep it interesting. On occasion, my son has joined me, um, and here's a few minutes of those activities. <laughs> Just take a nice little mosey down this trail.
all this training has led up to my first backpacking dry run. Uh, yesterday I set out on that short trip. It's 8.6 miles to my friend Liz and Ahmad's house. Uh, Liz is my son's mother and they were kind enough to let me camp in their backyard last night and uh, here's how that went. All right, so I am out for my first big overnight test trip. I'm walking to the next town over through the country back roads. Uh, but this will be the furthest trip I've taken with a fully loaded pack. I'm a little nervous about the about the, some of the roads that I've got to take. Uh, some of them are pretty narrow and sketchy. Um, but it's part of the training is how to walk on sketchy roads without being scared of every little thing. But boy, I tell you what, I've already walked one block and I can feel the weight of this pack already. Okay, this is the stretch of road that I've been most concerned about. It's pretty narrow and I'm gonna have to step off a lot to let traffic go by. I made it to town. I uh, got a nice sidewalk. It's nice to get off the road. I'm only about uh, half a mile from my destination for the night. Kind of just in time for the golden hour. Uh, it's been a pretty good walk. I've adjusted really nicely to the pack and the weight. I'll see you um, setting up the tent. What's 
Hey, you guys want to watch me set up my tent? Yeah. Hey, you got to show me where all the dog poop is, though, so I don't so, set my like, tent up I'll in it. I'll show you where the dog poop is. The dog poop. Like, you see that blue house? Yeah. Like, it's over in, like, this area. So if I put my tent down there, it would be okay? Um, yeah, if you put it in this area, it's fine. But I wouldn't, like, put it in this area because Dad said there's dog poop, oh, like, over there. There's an old hobo on the patio and an old Bob Wild on the funeral fire. Roll out the carpet and it better be red and it better be long as the trouble's in my head. So, yeah, the results of that first dry run are a little mixed. Um, as expected, I guess you do the dry runs to work out the kinks. And two pieces of my equipment are gonna have to be replaced. My tent for one, and my solar panel for two. Uh, well, the good news is that everything else worked uh, as it should have. Uh, I stayed warm in my tent. The foam pad, inflatable pillow, and sleeping bag uh, kept me cozy all night. Uh, but most importantly, my body held up. Um, today is the day after that walk you just watched, and I feel fine. I was a little stiff first thing this morning, uh, but I loosened up doing some dynamic stretches and some static stretches, and now I feel great. Um, I would have walked home this morning, but I had a medical appointment today uh, that I didn't want to risk missing because I was out on a country road somewhere trying to hurry home. Um, so Liz was good enough to uh, drive me home after breakfast. So. All in all, I feel really good about where I go from here. Uh, I probably won't update this channel uh, very often with videos until I, uh, until shortly before I leave. I will keep my Instagram up to date, and you can find that at uh, walkscapes.eric. And I will also keep my blog up to date, and that's going to be at walkscapes.me. So until next time, walk on. So there is one other thing I want to talk about before this video comes to an end. It's something that I've been thinking a lot about in the last couple of weeks, and that's why I'm doing this. Not why am I walking across America. That has many answers and it will probably change several times before this is all over. No, I mean, why am I making these videos? Why am I on Instagram and YouTube and why do I have a blog now? I got off social media three years ago and thought I was never going to look back. And I guess the answer started when I started telling people about my walk and people expressed an interest. Some people even went so far as to say they wish they could come with me. And how encouraging is that? You know, I don't want to just tell people that I'm doing this and then disappear for eight months. I want to have some way of keeping in touch with people and not only keep in touch with just a simple text message saying I made it to my destination every night that I'm hey, I'm safe, everybody, you know, I want to include people on this adventure that I'm on. I want to, I want people to know what it's like to walk across America, to train for a walk across America, get in the headspace a little bit, not because I want that, but because a lot of you guys told me you wanted that. And I, I want to do this for you. I want to do this so that the people who are interested can see what it's like to do it. Not just my friends and family, but anybody who wants to know what it's like to walk across America can watch these videos and, and get an idea. Now, specifically, there's one thing that I hate about making these videos, and that is producing a shot of me walking down the street and then turning around, coming back and collecting the camera like this.
these little segments of me walking feel so artificial. Or like this, you know, I walk up the hill and then I turn around and I walk back down the hill. That kind of thing seems very pretentious to me and very much about me. Like, I want you to see me walk across America. And this is me doing it. Then again, I've talked to a couple of people and they said they like those shots. They like to see what it looks like to walk on the road. It helps them picture themselves in my shoes. It helps them picture themselves on the road and doing the walk for themselves. And just to be abundantly clear why I dislike these sorts of shots, um, it's not because of the work involved in setting the tripod up and all that. I'm willing to do all that. It's because it feels like I'm manufacturing an experience rather than living one. It feels like I've turned into a filmmaker instead of a walker. I'm torn between making these shots that make me feel very showy and very pretentious and making a video that helps people visualize themselves on the trip themselves. So I would like to hear from you in the comments section. What do you think about those shots? You know, what do you, should I keep making them? Um, should I just do shots of me walking down the road with my selfie stick? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, I would really love to hear what you guys think. Is it pretentious or is it helpful? I would really like to hear from you and let, let me know what you think. All right. Thanks very much.